And when I tell you that when I found out what brand it was, I about lost my mind. Lost my entire mind. Hey everyone, my name is Jessica, also known as Flight Attendant Flipper. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, for those who don't know, I am a full-time flight attendant and part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. So let me tell you what's going on. Okay, so yesterday I was assigned airport standby. We call it sitting hot. So I was supposed to be at the airport from 5.30 in the morning until about 1.45 in the afternoon in uniform, ready, just in case there was a last minute need for a flight attendant. Well, there was. So then I get a two-day trip. And so this morning, I'm getting ready, and I get notifications from crew scheduling, and now my two-day trip has become a four-day trip. So let's rewind a little bit. I was already scheduled for today to do a turn, meaning just going someplace and coming back. So when I went to the airport to sit hot, I only packed enough food for yesterday. Yeah. So luckily I brought enough undergarments because if you learn as a reserve flight attendant, the two day can turn into a five or six day. And so you always need to pack extra changes of undergarments and things of that nature, but I definitely was short on the food. So this morning there is a breakfast at the hotel and luckily it was actually warm food. Now I'm fasting so I was like let me just grab this food and I will pack it and eat it for later. So let me show you. So they had an Activia yogurt. I really like these. Um, I got two omelets. I think they're veggie omelets, two sausages. And then this is a sausage, egg and cheese on a bagel. And I will be heating all of these up because of course on, on our planes, we don't have ovens or anything. Um, and sometimes in the hotels, we don't have microwaves. So I have this thing, it's called the Hot Logic Mini. And you plug it in. And inside there's a there's a messy hot plate. I have to clean that off. Um, so this is the hot plate and it warms up. You can actually cook your food in here, although I don't know about all that. I mean, it takes long enough, in my opinion, for it to warm up. I like my food. I like my hot food really, really hot. So it takes about a good hour um, for something to heat up to the temperature that I want it. But I travel with this. Um, so, yes, we're going to make that free breakfast last all day i i was in charlotte yesterday and i remember coming here about a year ago when i started my reselling journey and i went to the bins so for those who don't know what the bins are um they're called it's basically the goodwill outlet but we call them the bins and it's where clothing is sold by the pound there are bins and bins of things and you have to search through the bins and you i didn't wear gloves which is you know, you just have to be careful because sometimes you'll find things that you didn't want to find and you touch them and it's like, eh. um, but anyway, so I went to the bins a year ago, really just new to this whole reselling thing. Didn't really know what brands to get. Didn't know what was going to really sell well on Poshmark or eBay. I mean, just because things have a high retail value doesn't mean they have a high resale value. So if you've never been to the bins, I'm going to include a little bit of footage they don't really like you videoing sometimes, I think. So I tried to get as much footage as I could while holding it and still going through the bins to give you an idea of what it's like. So here it is. The bins are a place where you can really make 
a huge return on your investment because it is by the pound. So I was already happy with what I got. Just from a resale perspective and the return on investment perspective. And then and then one item. And when I tell you that when I found out what brand it was, I about lost my mind. Lost my entire mind. And I will show you, I promise I will show you, but let's go through what I got. Unbelievable, let me show you what I got. So this bag, it's got other stuff in it, I'll show you in a second. So this bag is, uh, the brand is BOC, and they make really comfortable shoes, and some people like them, and it's, you know, it's a nice little red and black bag, like super great condition, looks got the brand there, zippers, very clean on the inside, which you'll see as soon as I'm done telling you, because what I did was, I went tie crazy. I've got a lot of ties. So let me start showing you the ties. And some of these brands are like good tie brands. So this is a brand called Allen Ties. And she or he, whichever, names their ties. So like, so this one is called Polar Bears by Allen. So this is a polar bear tie. I thought it was so cute. I'm just going to go through them very quickly because I got a lot of them. And then I got, even though this is JCPenney, it's a Christmas tie. So it's Santa on a sleigh with a US flag. So you already know someone's gonna buy that around Christmas. Now, mind you, this is by the weight. Hello, they don't weigh anything. Okay, so I actually calculated it and I got 23 items for $15. So that makes the average cost of goods, if I'm just averaging it out, 65 cents an item. Here's another Christmas tie, and this is also by um, Allen Ties, and this is called Gingerbread Gingerbread Ornaments. It's just a nice little Christmas tie. Um, this one is a Saddlebred Black Tie. So I actually may just give this to my husband because he needs a black tie. Sorry. Um, this one I'm also going to pass by my husband. I really like it. Another tie. I can't remember the brand. Oh, Hickey Freeman. So if you're a woman of a certain age like I am, you'll remember this store and it's actually pretty high, it's very high quality tie. Um, this is a nautica tie. Very traditional preppy horizontal stripe tie. Um, this is a Jose Banks executive collection tie. Not really my cup of tea, but you know, there's a flavor for everyone. So there you go, it's kind of orange-ish. Um, here is another Christmas tie. Very simple, but I like it. Little Christmas trees. Nice. And who's the Gino by Gino Ostro? Have no idea. It's a Christmas tie. Um, oh, then I picked this one up. This is a Michael Kors tie. And these are all in like pristine condition, no damage, nothing flawless. I don't, I don't, I told you before, I don't get damaged stuff. Okay, and this one I'm actually, I think I'm going to give to my husband because I really like it. And this is a Hart Schaffner Marks tie, and it's really good quality. You can tell I really like the pattern. So that's going to the hubby. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, I can show you the inside of this bag. So there's the inside of the bag, and it's got little compartments, and really nice. It's cute. So I think there were a total of 11 ties, and the item of the day is also a tie. So I will wait until the end to show you that because it's something. I don't know if this is a vintage uh, Ralph Lauren, but these are Ralph Lauren blue shorts. Clearly needs some ironing and some steaming, so I'll be doing that. Um, very cute, nice blue. And the label in the back, just your everyday blue short, really nice, a size eight. So it's Lauren Ralph Lauren, green label size eight short um lucky brand shirts you know they don't sell for a tremendous amount of money but if you can pick them up at the bins i would definitely recommend and this is just a nice where'd it go nice button down long sleeve yeah. it's really cute i like it no damage at all just a button down shirt and just i just like the colors so you know what is it? A size medium. So there you go. 
this is a more mature brand and doesn't really sell for a ton of money on Poshmark. It actually sells for a little bit more on eBay. There are some items that sell better on eBay than Poshmark, and this would be one of them. But for the for the price, like I said, you know, you pick up things at the bins that you wouldn't normally get at the thrift. So this is a Tabit um, skirt. Really nice, size four. Very cute, so I picked that up and that's lines. So these are um, Under Armour men's size XL, basically like athletic pants, maybe basketball pants, workout pants, and they're polyester and they've got the little net lining inside and the drawstring in the front. So they've got the little Under Armour symbol there, and they are long, and they've got zipper. Can you see that? There's like a zip up on the side. On the other side, there's also the zipper, but it says Under Armour on the leg. Okay, so now here we have, this is a Nike Golf sweater vest. Pretty basic piece with the swish in the back, if you see. And the pockets are zip pockets, really excellent condition. And I think most everyone who goes golfing wears this sweater. Now, Free People is a brand that does well. Some pieces do better than others. Again, I, I try not to pay Goodwill prices for Free People because they're so hit or miss. But I saw this in the bins and was like, yes, please. How cute. How cute is this top? I think it's a medium but you'll just have to check my store but it's really it's just a cute piece i would put something under it because it's pretty see-through though unless you're just having that kind of a day and you're like see-through don't care okay another tabis skirt size four i really like this one i like the pattern it's showing up very very red on this camera but it's kind of like a reddish coral and it's just really nice the thick waistband and it's also a size four I was like whoa this is really nice so it was buried it was definitely buried in the bin I saw a glimpse of the button now I'm a sucker for a few things okay I like shiny things I'm a sucker for gold buttons on a blazer I am a sucker for elbow patches and so this is a Ralph Lauren made in Canada navy blazer 100% new wool and super soft and it is definitely going to require some steaming but you see the gold button and then it's blue but the phone just made it look um, black for some reason and then four on the, the cuff and this is in pristine condition so inside you have the pot two pockets over here and then you have another pocket over there. And this is a size 40 regular. And I just looked this up and this is actually current season. It's being sold right now. So online, it's on sale, sale for $250, sale. Um, so yes, this was definitely a good pickup and keep in mind, again, average cost of goods, 65 cents. Are we ready? Okay. So I see this tie and I was like, oh, that is so darling. Aren't they cute? The bunnies, the little bunnies. And you know, a lot of times you see like the higher end designers have patterns like this that are a little, you know, novelty-ish, a little different from the norm. So I, and for all my friends who know what the image is already, hush, I didn't know the image. I didn't know the image, I'm sorry. So I look in the back and I see this thing and I'm like, okay, dry clean only, 100% silk, okay. Still looking for the brand. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it, didn't see the brand. And then I get to the hotel and then I'm like, you know, I, I really just need to find this brand. I'm going to I'm going to find this brand. And then I see Made in France. I'm like, OK, Made in France. 
We've got to be nice, you know what I mean? See? Made in France. Still no brand. And then I come across the brand and freak out. <laughs> I was like jumping up and down in this room. I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? It's an Hermes. Okay, so is it Hermes or Hermes? Because I've always said Hermes because I thought the S was silent, but some people say Hermes. And no, it's not Hermes. Okay, hello. No. Um, but yes, so I got an Hermes or Hermes, however you want to say it, tie for 65 cents. Brand new. This tie is selling for over $200. So I checked comps on Poshmark and we're looking at probably, I'm going to list it for like $105. $105. So yes, so I called my friend Teresa. I was like, girl, I know it's late. I'm so sorry. You will not believe. I went to the bins. I get this tie. It's got bunnies on it. I couldn't see a brand, but I knew it was nice. It was 100% silk, made in France. Get home. Get to the, it's Airmaid. It's an Airmaid tie. Ah, ah. And she's like, girl, what? I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I'm videoing my husband as I discovered it. So he probably thought, poor guy. So on the video call with my husband, and I'm like, I can't find the brand. I was like, oh. And then I said something I can't repeat on YouTube. And then I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Look, look, look. <laughs> so he, he now knows I'm crazy. That, that has been solidified for him. Um, but yeah, this was, this was great. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like content like this, please hit the like and subscribe button and please click on the bell notification so you get notices for any new video that pops up because they are going to be coming at you now. I promised you I would be better and I'm living up to my promise. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye!